Hello and welcome to another episode of TC Finds. I'm Tyler Dylan Cox. And I'm Zane Edwards. And today we are working on a 1991 Dodge First Gen. Let's see what's under the hood. Wait. Looks right. It's over there. Oh. The, the, the truck's over there. Oh yeah, it is. As we were saying, um, a 19 whatever Dodge. 91. First Gen! lanyards fancy jeans coming stickers <laughs> with all the young folks like it's pretty ripe very let's go back in time and see how we got it. welcome to tc fox it's a lie because his head's too fat to fit one You know what we got to do is turn the key. It's happening. <laughs> Beauty is only skin deep. Ugly goes to the bone. <laughs> She blows. A Chevy Cavalier with the trailer. Definitely out and hauling us. Oh, big time. <laughs> okay. So what do we have here, Zane? A piece of you know what. Oh, I think it's good. <laughs> So it's a 91 Cummins and diesel. And a half. And a half. How many miles? 300 something he said, I think. 300 something. It's all complete, mostly from what we could gather. Plus the, um, that. That, that brings good luck. We'll pull that out later. The interior's very pristine. It, uh, has some things in it. Let's check the mileage. 213, but he said it was three. Door locked? Oh, it works. This is the LA version. Lesser evil version? <laughs> no, this, this was the fancy one in the day. Oh, because the power yeah. and wood grain. So I think we're gonna do the right thing and throw a battery in it and see if it'll come off the trailer oh boy oh it's a car quest a marine start i didn't know this was a boat it broke oh <laughs> well i think i have a proper removal tool somewhere oh yeah oh it's loose that one is going to be the the difficult one. That's corroded beyond corrosion. That's just OEM dodge bullshit. There we go. Perfect. Then we have a custom battery tray with hinges those are hinges look those are door hinges in there aren't they they are huh no savvy use what you got where's your little wire oh that's what he used to 
That's what you use to screw it to the factory tray, see? Screw head, screw head, screw head. Wow. Screw head. Hmm. Quality. Nice. And just like your never start batteries. Even higher quality. Ranch riggins. Oh, thank you. Oh, listen. It's a grid heaters. Oh, is the key on? I wouldn't keep bumping it like that. Yes, he's off now. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, this is a that's better. It's going to push the primer lever a few times. That might be installed. Watch your fingers. What are you doing? He's antsy. Oh, he is antsy. So will it start after sitting 20 years? Oh. Ah! We got sparks. Oh, well, give it a... Hit it again. No, the battery ain't oh. Well, here, let me... Yeah, I suppose we should tighten it. I guess the power of the hammer won't won't see us through this time. You're crushing our good luck skull. Oh, wow. You don't find that every day. Tooth. Yeah, give it a hit. Hey, we got battery bolt. Oh. Whacking everything. Jeez. It yes. did start. <laughs> eh, leave that there. Wow. Ha! <laughs> like we parked it yesterday. Wow. That was easy. That was real easy. Fuel. Do we have fuel or did we just run out of fuel or did we just run what was in the lines and the injectors? Yeah. A few questions to ask. It started though. We can go home now. No. Oh. <laughs> so to play things safe, we are going to put a little dieseline in it because that's the right thing to do. Give it a hit. The primer. Here, I'll get down there and prime it. So y'all could see right there, these have a little lift pump and you could hit that lever right there and uh, prime your fuel. Way better than your 24 valve dodges where you have to crack and jack the lines and crank till the cows come home. Oh, that bad clutch kicked in. Are you on the throttle? Wow. Coming. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cummins. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's already on 680, isn't it? KKYX. That's 90. That's the oh, 92.3. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have coolant that was designated for that truck, but we'll put it in this one. <laughs> so we're using Peak, non-sponsored product, of course. But figure we'll start doing this right from the get-go because we know it'll work. What are you paying for that? 
money. Now, $14, I think, or $13, might have been on sale. Yeah, but I was at O'Reilly's already. And it's the same thing. It's not worth your time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's just a little low. That's some odd colored stuff. Green? Yeah, but it's like dark green, not light green. Mm. Maybe it's extra oil. Isn't it? And pink used to be blue. Yeah. I think way back. Two gallons ish. Not it's to her. It's still going down. Is it leaking on the trailer somewhere? No leaks. No? Hmm. So I do wonder why it's empty. Who knows? So now we're at three. Oh. Well, I guess we see if it drives off the trailer. Oh, you know what I'm most worried about? What? Brakes. I don't want to do brakes. No. Yeah, you do. No. You had so much fun with them on that. No. You're practically a professional now. I know. No. I hate brakes. Good thing you got the wing windows. I got that one working. Oh. You mean, the you mean transmission fluid? I have some. It feels like it's a pedal. You want to put power steering in it? Yeah. Vintage! Nice. <laughs> we need a trick. Uh, <laughs> not enough. <laughs> we got another one. Oh. A critter try.
we're going to drag it backwards see if we can get the brakes to unlock or free up or whatever and maybe it'll go forward after we go backwards looks like it's moving maybe a little easier is that a little better poquito Oh man, that's a lot better. Does it feel stronger? Check it again. So today we are using vintage Haviland Type F. We're using it because it's why I found it in an old car and it's why I have. A half tank of fuel? Yeah. So it works? I guess so. Well, do you want to back it up and see if it'll stop? Oh, that's night and day better. Those shocks are prime, aren't they? All oh, those fronts are working good. They'll come around. Yeah, that buzzing's weird. Let's see if they'll make it down to get a little water. <clears throat> there we go. A little tight squeeze. Oh yeah. Perfect. Oh no. Fiddlesticks. And then back here, we have an issue that's arose. Ah! Ah. Ah. Nobody wants to do that. Rest in peace, Toby. Huh. Didn't you recently have this issue? Every time. Huh. Notice our shifter? Put it in first. There it is, first gear. I broke it. What, the, what happened? We have no gears. Oh, we have gears now. <laughs> mm, it just took it a second to figure itself out in life. What it wanted to do. Does that window go down further? I think so. Here, let me hit it. Oh. You broke that too now? Oh. Okay, there. There, I had it. We'll just leave it down. I don't think we'll be hurting anything. Came out 
gear again. Yeah. Uh-oh. Wow. Neutral. Oh, it shows we're hot. It shows we're hot? We're getting hot. Oh. That's cool. No, it's hot. <laughs> God dang first turns. Living up to the name, huh? Yeah. It's not going. He broke it already. Oh, it's a type F fluid schmooid. <laughs> yep, it won't go into gear for nothing. We didn't park and turn it off and then try it. You know that. Solenoid. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Okay. Wish us luck. Luckily, David's here to save us when we get stranded. All right, you stupid gate, you better open. <laughs> it always works for me. And I don't even get close to it like you do. Yeah, not working. It's the thin Dodge metal that you drive around. That's what does it. It's not going in reverse now? No. <laughs> uh, we'll get there. Well, let's go left. Let's be adventurous. <laughs> We're in something, a gear. <laughs> We're in no gear. Well, Yay, all neutrals. All neutrals. So, I don't know what the right answer is. Maybe we change out fluid. We'll whip it around here, maybe. Start it. Uh. Nope. When it tries to shift. When it tries to shift, it we gives it. up. So is it, I don't know what it is, if it's trans or if it's uh Well, cause see now it won't even come, come back down into first until you, re until you restart it. Yeah. So we can maybe baby it around. Yeah, let's do like 15. You didn't put it in park when you restarted it. I did. Oh, I thought it was in neutral. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Give it a second. <laughs> when Mississippi. Oh, does that feel strong? It does. When it goes in the gear initially. Well, it's just yelling at me. It doesn't want to be your friend. It doesn't, it knows. It knows what I want to do to it. It knows the, tor the torturous life it will lead. Towing bobcats around. Oh, there we go. Now we're cruising. How's our temperature doing? Don't look. <laughs> it's a little warm. I don't think it is, though. Ah, we lost it again. Hmm. Yep, when it tries to shift. It says no mas. Well, about eight more times and we'll make it to the gate. <laughs> oh boy. Have 
having flashbacks to how the gin pole truck was in its first beginnings. Really? <laughs> Not because of transmission, but because of fuel problems. Oh. Well, so far we're going swell and that temperature is... It's up there. I don't think it's hot though. Not smelling nothing. And there we go again. <laughs> Come on, baby. Chug it like a chug along. You can do it, you can do it, you, you can do it. Crest the hill barely. Eh, 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 eh. Sam Squatch! <laughs> In real life. Well, it's doing it now. Yeah. Ah, now it's not doing it. He spoke too soon. <sighs> so th there's this. We came to the conclusion that this is a winch remote probably for the welding bed. On the right side of the radio works. Quite well. We can see if it has air conditioning. Hmm. We can try that. There she goes. All right, we're almost in the gate. <laughs> we can at least back in now. Yeah. No ACs. No vent, no nothing. We can assess. So if y'all are hearing those sounds. Now we're not going to Maybe it's the torque converter. Or it just needs a whole trans. There's no way it's that hot right now. Temperature needle pegged out. Ha <laughs> ha! Stupid first turn. Huh. Told you they were a terrible life choice. You did? I learned my lesson a decade ago on them. <laughs> I just have a swarf spot. It's old and it's junky. Well, now what to do? And here we are now. Yes, we have had some transmission woes, but at the minimum, we could put all the trash into a trash can, see if there's anything good in it. Um, and you won't let me put the whole truck in the dumpster. I won't let me put the whole truck. I had, haven't decided what I'm gonna do it yet, but we could at least clean it. So let's get started. There is no lack of trash in the back of this truck. Food bags. Yeah, he had dogs because he was a hunter. Plot hounds, boy. Plot hounds, sure, not dogs. Anyways, this is a fair amount of stuff, so we need to eliminate it, see if there's a floor at the bottom of this, and then in here, oh, well, there's a fair amount of crap too. have a fair amount of self tappers, knee pads, elbow pads, koozies, all sorts of old junk in here. And some good history. Zane found this. So we aren't gonna look, well hold on Buster. So we got the title whilst it was still on lean. And look at that, eight miles. This is a one on a truck. And you can tell because of the way it is, as Vice Grip would say. And this, this is one of these stones. Two seven point five D stones. I do love the D stones. Sixty-eight thirty-four a piece. Dang. Two twenty-one two thousand five. Man, prices have gone up. Sixty-four dollars compared to the. 68 bucks a piece. Of oh, 68 bucks compared to the now 200 bucks a piece? At least. Jeez. All the cool documentation. Let me go back in here. And this. 
<laughs> Here you go, Jerry. I got you a toy. <laughs> Do you like it? No? Are you going to throw it away? Yeah. All right, throw it away. We are definitely crusty. Found the install instructions for the multi battery all isolator under the hood. All right, because we need to know how that works. Oh, looky here. Las Chaves! See if it works. Oh, man. Oh, and this is the factory key, too. Nice. Right, because that one, does that one have a Daimler? Nope. This should be the factory key. Don't tell me. Maybe the wrong way. Oh, Not spare key. Sad day. What a bummer. We got some nice, ready to use razor blades for scraping know, off this stuff. We're doing welder, pipeliner, curricular activities to stay awake. Oh. <laughs> Down for results. That's it. Nothing else cool. No. Maybe we could scoot the seat up and see if there's anything here. Any goodies back there? Oh my, this thing is full. What is that? Whoa. What is that? Plastic or paper? No, that it's red though. Yeah. Paper is not it? red. What the heck? Are from aminals? That is, smell it. it. Doesn't have a smell. It's even weirder. It's almost like it was like it looks like cedar shavings then maybe a critter got in here i don't know that's weird but there's a lot of it good <laughs> not good so you were saying how uh dodge dodges were thin uh -huh. on the metal yep. and perhaps but uh that's welded in now because it broke off so yeah they're a little thin i'd say Ooh, we should pull the headliner, or I should. Well, it is a week later and not much has changed. Transmission, still questionable. Truck, still questionable. But I figured it's a nice, quiet evening and whew, it was a long day of work. But might as well go ahead and wash it. It was near 90 degrees today here in Texas on February, whatever the day it is. So that's plenty fine. We're used to it. So I think a good good idea is to scrub this thing down and see the potential it really doesn't have. And uh, go from there. I have a few ideas of what I want to do to this truck. But I'm not sure yet. Well, let's clean it anyway. For those of you that don't know, Black Magic Bleach White, yes, this one's seen some things. It's the best stuff in the world. I've said in a few of my videos, but I will continue to say so because this stuff works so well. Look, you see, it's just eating the dirt away. Super easy. Oh, and I'm out. I have a new one. We are going to spray down all of our onion to clean all this up with the bleachy whites because that is what is required for such a dirty, dirty engine. Look at that. Road hard and put away wet's an understatement on this one, folks. We'll get it. You guys doing a good job? Good job, guys. Good job. We're looking a little cleaner. Yes, now we need to switch to this side. Is this side, you can tell, it's much better. Right? Sure. Sometimes you just gotta send it a little bit. See what I mean? Is that even carpet or is that mat? 
Oh no, that's that's carpet. Wow, wow, that's carpet. Wow. It is now time to get a health report on this transmission. Pulling that pin will tell what is what it is. And now for the moment of truth here. Maybe if I could get this pin off. Yeah, all I need two hands. Oh, goodness. Oh. 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 Wow. Okay, I think it's fine. Plenty. Good. There's some color. It'll be fine. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you can tell, but this one, believe it or not, is the good one. And uh, this, this is actually the bad filter. I know you couldn't tell by looking at it, but uh, yeah, like, mm. so we're going to put the new one in and hope for the best here. Ooh. Look, you, you, you see this, right? Like. Ooh. Ugh. Ah. Oh. You see this, correct? This is, um. Uh, not what you want to see. It smells old, but not bad. Well, our pan is serviced, and as you can notice, it has a cork gasket. The kit came with a rubber one, and I'm not gonna put it on because I do not trust the rubber gaskets. The cork is way better. Argue with me all day. All right, we are topside again. Now we're gonna top off the fluid and, well, hope, also pray. Don't underestimate the power of prayer, but uh, I don't know, by the looks of all that black and goo, might be in a little trouble. So I got some ATF that's not recommended for this truck, but it's better than what it was. This next one, we're going to use some rebuild in a bottle. Because it probably needs it. So we have eight quarts in it. So we're going to start her up. Ha! Huh. It runs good. And see about getting it to go through the motions and just suck fluid down and do everything it needs to do that away. And then we'll check our fluid. It's reaction time is a lot better. We'll see if it holds the gear for a little bit. It's cleaned up pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 
it's amazing how well it steers with the power steering topped off. Well, she's not dying in the driveway like it was. Still moving. That's a plus, huh? Let's see, does this have enough metal to trigger my exit sensor? Psh, it does not. There's the tractor, there's the tractor. Come on, come on. Trigger. Trigger. It never works for me. It never works. All right, here we go. Let's see. Whoa, it hit second. Oh, and we, oh, we lost it. It dropped out. Oh, we're still here. Two, three. Okay, there's hope. I'm gonna whip it back around and go back up our hill. First, second. Wow, it's dusty in here. I don't know if you can tell, but we are getting blasted. That's neutral, okay. Oh look, there's David's horse. David's a tall fella from earlier. Okay. No, all the stuff's coming from in here. First. Second. Third. again. All right. Then maybe there's hope. Brakes. Go on, hit the button. I smell burning things. So we'll check that out. I'd say we're maybe a quart low if I could get this thing to to focus. There we go. I mean, it's halfway through the okay, maybe just half a quart. Well, this is great. Well, I'm gonna shut this off so you can hear me. So she goes through all the gears now. It was not doing that before. Well then, now what? Now what? We'll top it off with another quart. 
And obviously, it needs other things. But I don't know what to do with it. What would you do with it? I picked up a cab you may or may have not seen in the background. It would look pretty good on this truck. But then again, this motor would be a good donor for something, or I could fix the truck. I don't know what to do. Maybe I restore this truck. Help me decide. Until then, let's top off that quart. Well, I still don't know what to do with that 12 out. I top off the quart. That's as far as I've got. It's not really worth fixing. It's maybe worth body swapping, or maybe we do fix it eventually. I really don't know. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do with it. I'm thinking restore it. You know, new doors, new bed, maybe make a little red type thing. Only big red. Or uh, body swap it with the next episode you'll see, you'll see the truck I got. And we're on our way to get some more.